हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर ज्योति शेगोकार आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर ज्योति धुमाड़े शेगोकार विच इज मेड फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री आर टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज सोल जेल मेथड गाइज दिस सोल जेल मेथड इज देयर फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ नैनो पार्टिकल्स दैट इज प्रिपरेशन ऑफ नैनो पार्टिकल्स we have uh, we have in our youtube channel there are number of videos related to nano particles so particularly for the study or for the preparation of nano particles there are three different types of methods given physical methods chemical methods and some biological methods are there so out of that physical methods are like high energy ball milling are which are physically mechanically done while the chemical methods these are very important these are playing very important role because on the commercial level these methods are used so this particularly sol gel method it is a chemical method and it is uh, used on the very large scale as there is a use of means this method is chemically done there are two different types of approaches given guys that is one is a top down approach and another is a bottom up approach for the preparation of nanoparticles so what does it mean top down approach when there is a large amount or large size material is given for example a large building is there and we have to cut it into small small particles and then just uh, remove out the small bricks that is top down means from the large material small small particles are prepared that is top down while what is then bottom up approach bottom up approach in this approach small small particles are there and they are converted into large amount or large uh, structure that is called as a bottom up approach then uh, you will think that is there a formation of a large or a very high uh, we can say dimensioned material no we have to prepare only nano particles means they are having their size in 1 to 100 in between 1 to 100 nanometers but we will prepare their networks we will polymerize we will polycondense we will carry out the number of such type of processes in which a cluster or we can say that a large material large poly uh, that is the what can we say that the particles which are having a large size are prepared means they will be there in their nano size but they are they are in the large structure means they may be in the powdered form they whether they may be in the uh, gel like structure but they are in the large size means they are in the large we can say that from small to the large means from sol to the gel for example so this sol gel method or chemical vapor deposition method or another number of uh, we can say that that pyrolysis type of method these methods are there which are under the uh, top uh, that is bottom up approach so priorly these methods are there uh, in the both uh, type of uh, approaches these are used but now these are more favorable in the bottom up approach so guys uh, we will move towards this our method of sol gel sol gel method it is having its very important significance that it will require a less temperature means this method may be carried out in the moderate or somewhat less temperature comparatively than the other methods so sol gel method now in this sol sol this word itself indicates that it is a single material atoms are there on the atomic level we have to think so on the atomic level firstly we have to consider atoms of the metal so here solvated metals are considered solvated metals it is called as a precursor precursor is that material from which we have to prepare nano materials okay nano particles of that material are to be prepared that is called as a precursor okay so first of all we consider one precursor so this precursor is one of the metal or metal alkoxide metal alkoxide is considered there then this metal alkoxide is dissolved into the water 
ओके वॉटर इज यूज फॉर द डिजोल्यूशन पर्पज बिकॉज टू कैरी आउट द नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस स्मूथली और प्रॉपरली सो इट इज डिजोल्व इन टू द वॉटर दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ हाइड्रोलिसिस सो फर्स्ट प्रोसेस विच इज डन हियर इज कॉल्ड एज अ हाइड्रोलिसिस प्रोसेस हाइड्रोलिसिस बिकॉज ऑफ रिएक्शन विथ वॉटर सो वेन एवर इट रिएक्ट विथ वॉटर यू कैन सी that it was a metal alkoxide that is roh we have considered here this m is for metal and oh is for alkoxide group so here there occurs hydrolysis of metal alkoxide so by the hydrolysis there is a formation of some alcoholic type of material one metal alcohol and another is alkyl alcohol is produced there and this process is called as a hydrolysis so up to this hydrolysis occurs now the product which is formed is in the form of sol so what is sol sol are the particles which are having their particular size they are remain in the liquid material somewhat liquid medium is required to there that that is what here there is a formation of this alcohol is it and that sol it is already prepared here so the sol these are nothing but the nanoparticles they are now converted into nanoparticles but still they are in the dispersed condition or we can say that colloidal condition now after formation of these sols these sols to be connected with each other so for that there must be carried out some another process and that is called as a condensation process now this condenser by this condensation all the water will get removed and there is a formation of a, some solid material but this condensation must be poly condensation because these sols which are spread which are dispersed in the solution they are to be connect with each other to form a linear type of material so like this such type of linear materials are formed these are called as a gel so this sol is converted into gel by the processes which is called as a aging process now this aging process it is also called as a number it is also carried out by number of ways that when this colloidal material it was there it is totally with some means we can say the viscous material some viscous material is there like there is a presence of that hydrolyzed water is there somewhat uh, extend then some alcohol is also there so now next process is what aging or it is also called as a denigration reaction it is also called as a polyesterification polycondensation there are number of names and this is carried out particularly by the wastewater ripening process also so what is this wastewater ripening process it is nothing but formation of a this larger mono nanoparticles which are formed these are this consumes the smaller nanoparticles so smaller nanoparticles are consumed by larger one and the water which was there should be would be removed means there is a volatilization of water volatilization of alcohol or any another material so it becomes somewhat somewhat complicated process because of formation of some viscous material there as well as some fundamental reactions or um, fundamental changes there occurs on that basis it becomes complicated but when once there is a formation of gel by the synergesis also that 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 is again one of the name synergesis or ostwald ripening what does in this in this there is a smaller nanoparticles are consumed by larger one okay now here there is a formation of gel gel is nothing but the network like structure means the all the sols they are connected with each other you are getting that bottom up approach means small particles small nano particles they are in their now network like structure so there is a forming the bottom up or larger size from the smaller particle size okay now up to this we have got our total main solution in which there is a formation of gels are there now what type of product we need on that basis there are three to four different processes number one there is a means this total process is drying no doubt because we want metal and now it is in the liquid state so we have to carry out its drying is it drying sometimes shrinking sometimes there is a removal or volatilization of water or alcohol in some proportion it is volatilized in this particular aging state 
but remaining one to get a totally dried solution there is a process of this drying this drying process is at first just consider that one of the formation of aerogel aerogels are those gels or those nanoparticles prepared by the sol gel method they are not changed by their morphology means they are morphologically same to that of the starting materials means we will get a more uh, we can say that precise or more um, good quality nanoparticles they are called as a aerogels aerogels means they are in the air uh, phase or uh, as well as in the liquid phase so this aerogels uh, with the solid material so these aerogels these are prepared in a critical or super critical condition what is this critical or super critical condition critical temperature which is there or critical pressure which is there beyond that pressure when it is used critical condition critical temperature beyond the critical temperature when it is used it is called as a critical condition so when beyond the critical temperature or pressure that pressure or temperature is used it is called as a critical condition so when the critical condition for the dry purpose is given to this gel at that time the aerogels are produced and these are totally morphologically same but these are not economical means they are required a lot of the uh, cost okay now second process is a thermal evaporation by thermal evaporation simply temperature is given so when temperature is given there is a formation of zero gel but they are not morphologically same there is a formation of nano material but they are they may be in the cluster they may have the different type of shapes and sizes okay now third is a uh, giving again the temperature which is more than 800 degrees celsius so this continuously temperature it is given up to number of uh, means time would have also been given there that like the time is up to 7 uh, days or more than that 7 days are required not uh, only for uh, aerogels but for the number of all methods 7 days are uh, favorable okay then chemical uh, thermal uh, uh, evaporation then next is a when above the 800 degree celsius continuously it is put up to the 7 uh, days after that we will get such type of nanoparticles which may be in cluster not morphological and then densification of them occurs densification is totally drying out that material and that is called as a formation of a powder is there while the spinning or depping process occurs when that material of the sole uh, gel sorry there is a formation of a thin film coating while in the reaction what's happening after the uh, after this formation of sol this metal hydroxide which is there this metal hydroxide and this metal alkoxide which was the first uh, reagent which started the reaction so this initiated uh, reagent and the first product which is formed by the formation of a gel that is reacted with each other to form such a metal oxide or alkoxide uh, alkyl hydroxide type of group or such type of chain is formed there oxo type of means we can say that oxo that is m o m such type of chain may be formed at the last or sometimes hydroxo that is m o h m such type of chain is also possible to form at last as it is a poly condensation or polymerization reaction so here that metal alkoxide plus metal hydroxide sometimes the metal alkoxide plus other metal alkoxide uh, sorry metal hydroxide plus other metal metal hydroxide plus other metal hydroxide may be there or metal alkoxide may be there means first formation of a this uh, in the first reaction when metal alkoxide reacts to form metal hydroxide this similar type of products may react with each other or this main those reagent which was there it may react with the product of the first reaction and in this way we will get such type of product after condensation so this process of solger method it is uh, well adapted for the oxide nanoparticles or composite nano powders so composite nano powders these are the uh, amorphous type of material which is produced from the nano material while the oxide nano particles these are like this that is the 
M O M that is oxo type of group is there. So in this way we have seen today the method of Sol gel method which is very important to prepare the metal oxides or uh, we can say that nano particles. So I think guys you know or you have got idea about the Sol gel method. It is very very important according to your syllabus and it is very very easy also. When when once you will get this diagram. You will get understood this diagram. You can easily explain this method. So in this way, we have this method of soldier, which is very very important. If you really think that this uh, information is uh, uh, important for you or useful for you, then like the video, share it, and subscribe also. Thank you very much.